How to test a hypothesis? In today's video, we will show you two ways to test your hypothesis. Hi, my name is John and I'm from Business Focus. Helping your business achieve your goals. If you do this channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Here we have a sample data set comprised of sales for the past 30 days. What we'd like to find out is whether the managers claim that the average sales is greater than me. In order to test the manager's claim, we need to determine the following. First is the sample size. So if you type in the founder formula count and select the column under sales, and we get 30. Next is the sample mean. So if you type in the function formula average, and again select the column under sales, and you get 7.8. Next is the population standard deviation, which is given 1.3. Next to be determined is your level of significance. We assume it's 0 0.05 based on the 95% confidence level. Next is the hypothesized value, which is stated in the problem as A. Next is the standard error. Again, we divide the standard deviation divided by the square root of your sample size. And we get 0.24. Next is we conduct the z-test based on two things. The sample size has to be greater than or equal to 30, and the population standard deviation is known. Otherwise, we use the t-test. To determine your z-test, we simply type in the formula the sample mean, minus the hypothesized value divided by the standard error. And you get negative 0.84. Next to be determined is your p-value. Now your p-value will be based on two things, whether it's an upper lower tail or if it's a one tail two tail test. In our case, it's a lower tail one tail test. So to determine my p-value, we simply type in the function formula norms this and select the z-score value. So we get 0.2. And if it's the upper tail, we simply type in the function formula 1 minus norm this and select the z score again and we get 0.8. Now, if it's in the lower tail, two tail test, we type in the formula norm this again and select the z score and then multiply it by 2. And finally, if it's in the upper tail, two tail test, we type in the function formula 1 minus norm this. select the z-score value and then multiply it by 2 and we get 0.6 and finally to determine our conclusion we type in the function formula if our p value is less than or equal to our level significance which is 0.05 our conclusion will be to reject the null hypothesis if it's false we do not reject the null hypothesis what this means is that the magic claim is correct here we have another sample data set comprised of students' grades. What we'd like to find out is if the students' grades is greater than 70. Now data was collected through the school's department, so let's find out. In order to test the hypothesis, we need to determine the following. So first is the sample size, again type in the function formula count, and select the column under grades, and we get 25. Next is the mean, simply type in the function formula average, and select again the column under grades, and we get 69.4. Next is the sample standard deviation. We type in the function formula STDV. And again, select the column under grades. We get 6.14. Next is the level significant, which is 0 0.05. Next is the hypothesized value, which is 70. Next is the standard error. Again, divide the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of your sample size. And we get 1.3. Next up, determine your t-test. And if your sample size is less than 30 or your standard deviation is unknown, we use t-test. So to determine our t-score value, we type in the formula the sample mean minus the hypothesized value divided by the standard error. And you get 0.6. Note that the t-score value is always in the upper tail and they are all positive. To determine our final p-value, we simply type in the functional formula t list and type in ABS, select your t-test value, close parenthesis, comma. For the use of freedom, that's our sample size minus 1. Comma, and for our tail, it's a one tail test. So close parenthesis, we get 0.28. Next to the two tail test, we simply type in the function formula again, t this. ABS, select t test again. Comma, degrees of freedom is sample size minus one. Comma, and it's a two tail test. Close parenthesis, we get 0.55. And finally, to determine the conclusion, we use the function if our p value is less than or equal to our level significant, which is 0 0.05, comma, the conclusion will be to reject. 
otherwise we do not check so in our case our conclusion is to do not reject the null hypothesis what this means is that the average test score of students is less than or equal to 70. you have now reached the end of the video don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit the like button for more guides tutorials and tips you can check out my other videos thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one